Hi and welcome, my name is Johnny Fergan, I'm from All Total Coaching. What I want to talk to you today is state of mind. In those turbulent times where all our lives have been turned upside down, state of mind is paramount. If you've been following me on this channel, you know many, many times what my opinion is about me, the media, and why you need to get your hobbies and purpose on track. I talk extensively in my book about how to be a man what your father never taught you. But today, we're going to talk about your state of mind. In life, everything becomes either better or worse. You become richer or poorer. If you become fatter or fitter. If you become more knowledgeable or more stupid. And one of the signs of stupid people is you haven't even started speaking. They already say, I know, I know, when you haven't even started talking. Because they think they can Google everything. But they don't know you can Google stupidity. And most of those dum-dums will find themselves there. Because nobody knows everything. I wrote a book and I already found out a few things I could have added to the book. But you can be adding and adding and adding and adding with no end. But I made a book to help men, to help you, how to be a man, what your father never taught you. In this book, I go for the following topics. Manhood, what is a man? How to be a man? Woman, relationships and sex. Media, manipulation, indoctrination via the movies. Health, food and why it's so important. Money, wealth, what you need to know, what you're not taught at school. Value, what it is and why it's so important. How to overcome the biggest phenomenon in our generation of depression and fear where in Australia eight people commit suicide a day. And in a few minutes I will tell you news that you don't hear in the media. Happiness and fulfillment, feminism, the real truth, family court and consequences, how to be social, build a great network, keep up, how to maintain your relationships, some of the rules will save your life, sources and resources. State of mind. My dear friends, like I said, either you're getting better in life or you're getting worse. Nothing stays static. In these times of crisis, economic crisis, social crisis, every crisis, we've got crises everywhere. Your state of mind, my dear friends, is the most important thing. I've repeated on this channel many, many times to stop watching the main news. I've got a great, great friend of mine that his woman is working from home and they have got a memo that was said reduce your exposure to mainstream media as it demoralizes our staff and we no longer can do our jobs properly because mainstream media are toxic I repeated this so many times on the channel and in my book I explain again and again now I'm not going into the aspects of this disease and what's caused but this time exercise read books because my dear friends in the last week I run here nearly every day and in the last week six seven people committed suicide this is something you won't hear in the news only here at the gap here at Watson's Bay anybody that knows me or can google Ross Bay Vaucluse and Watson's Bay the gap look it up and this is one of the biggest suicide places in Australia but you don't hear this in the news. More people are going to commit suicide of a loss of income, loss of jobs, loss of relationship, but more than anything, loss of state of mind. Your state of mind, my dear friend, is the most important thing than all the money that you have. And I'll give you an example now of state of mind. $1,000, hypothetically. One person did a job and he expected to get only 800. But the other person expected to get 2,000. By the end of the work week, one person received $1,000, 200, so he's happier. And the other person that expected to receive 2,000 is devastated. They received the same amount of money. But one is extremely angry and one is extremely happy. It's because of the expectations. It's the same amount of money. Why is this particular number one happy and the other one is depressed? It's the same amount of money. Because it's your, it's your perception of your reality and more than anything, your expectations. We live in a new world order today. 
I'm not going into the reasons and all that. A lot of you are going to be shocked if I tell you what's going to happen. And I'll say a little bit. I know a lot of you won't believe it, but you will believe it one day. Property prices are going to drop by 50%. I know some of you laugh, but you won't be laughing in six months. I've said this on the channel many, many times before. Buy precious metals. I'm not here to tell you I'm not a, an advisor. But buy precious metals because they can print to oblivion. Money. But the more money in circulation, the less it's purchasing power. In these day and times days, my dear friends. It's written in the Old Testament. When Joseph was thrown into the pit. When his friends took the coat of many, many colors and threw him into the pit. Because they wanted to sell him because they were jealous of him. And the rabbis and scholars say there, and the pit was empty. It was empty from Water, meaning good, but it was full of snakes and crabs. Look it up. Look it up, my dear friends. I'll put a link below so you can look at that paragraph. A mind is either full of water, good things, or full of snakes and crabs. You have the ability to fill up your mind with good things or be petrified like so many people we say in our society. Wherever you go, people are jumping and nervous. And every one of them has got one thing in common. They're watching mainstream media 24 hours a day. And this is how they control it. I've never been more calm in my life. Now, am I happy with the situation that has arisen in the last couple of months? Of course not. But I'm calm. Because I've been prepared. I'm not saying I'm prepared fully. Because you're never going to be prepared fully. But I'm aware of what's going on. And to kill a human being, you do not need to kill him physically. The whole idea is killing him mentally and he'll do the rest. He'll consume the drugs, he'll consume all these antidepressants, etc, etc. And you will not be a functional person. You'll be just be another drain on your brothers, sisters and parents, or wife or husband or whatever. So today I want to tell you, your state of mind, my dear friend, is more than anything the amount of money you have. And I explained that about money. And more than anything, exercise. Read inspiring books. Today, I mentioned this many times on my channel. There's two books. You can download them immediately. It will cost you peanuts. Download my book. It will help you greatly. But if you don't want to, it's okay. How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Del Carnegie. And The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Cohen. Okay? How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Del Carnegie. And The Power of the Subconscious Mind. My dear friends. This will help build up your state of mind. Either you're going better or you're getting worse. Either your friends lift you up or bring you down. It's your choice. It's your life. In these times of crisis, economically, socially, politically, whatever, we need to be focused on the most important thing that will get you on the other side. State of mind. I have spoken a few videos back about the 10 things that will let you go over the crisis. I'll put the link below. Watch it, my dear friends. I am your friend. I'm telling you the truth. You have a choice to think I'm a totally idiot, and that's okay. It's your choice to think I'm a loser. It's okay. But those people that take into account what's really going on and build up their state of mind will change their lives. Please listen. Another ambulance going to Watson's bed. More than likely. Suicide is on the increase. I am your friend. Please fill up your mind with good things. Instead of filling your mind up with gossip and the biggest lie that's been perpetrated on society. Mainstream lies media. It's your life. I'm not saying you don't want to be informed. But don't overdo it. Because it's going to make you heavy. It's going to make you feel weak. It's going to make you feel depressed. It's going to demoralize you. And you're going to demoralize the people around you. And eventually you're going to have all sorts of negative thoughts and you won't be able to sleep. And eventually you'll have suicide thoughts and God forbid, we don't have to go to, I don't have to go there and tell you what's happened to three friends of mine that committed suicide. In these days of crisis, you need to be strong. You need to be a leader. You need to be a winner. You take the reins of your mind, your state of mind. 
inspire others to lift them up, like I am trying to do in this video. May God be with you. I am your friend that tells you the truth just the way it is. Whether I get two views or 600 or 600,000, it's irrelevant. If I help one of you guys to lift your spirit up in these troubled times, I have my, done my duty as a human being. Please subscribe to our channel for great topics on real issues of life that will help you change your life for the better. Please, your state of mind is the most important and paramount thing in your life. Look after it like, 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 like a diamond and fill up your mind with good things instead of the rubbish that's feed up in mainstream media. Links below to my book. And again, I'll repeat this. The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy and Cohen. And How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. May God be with you, with you. My dear friends, I love you from the bottom of my heart. As always, you know I am? I'm your friend, Johnny Forget.